Okay, circuit training. So we're going to be going 40 seconds worth of work with a 20 seconds breather. 15 exercises round twice. We have the crossing balance lunge up first. This is going to be mid length, standing facing the anchor point. You can either alternate the legs as I'm doing in the demo, or you can stand on the left leg only and let the right leg sweep across. Uh, I'll talk you through the left leg only on this one, by the way. Next up is a single arm chest press. That's going to be fully lengthened. We're going to be standing facing the anchor point, single handed mode. Uh, sorry, standing facing away from the anchor point. Of course it is. Uh, we're going to go off the left arm first with this one. So we're going to start with an arm extended, nice strong plank position. Going to bend the elbow, hips and chest are going to come forward as one. Then we have your hamstring curls up after that. This is going to be mid calf length. Going to be on the ground facing the anchor point. Your hips are going to be up from that position there. You're going to draw the knees in and out. Physically driving the heels away on this one. So we have good strong hamstring curls on this. Hips up. Next up after those, we have your eye rows. Now the eye rows are going to be mid-length, standing facing the anchor point. The arms are going to be up over the ears. You're going to slowly relax back, rotating around that shoulder joint. Arms coming down. And then you're going to rip the knuckles backwards, arms skimming past the skull. So you could uh, very thin uh, type workout, that one, or movement. Next up after that is a high knees. That's going to be fully lengthened. You're going to be standing facing away from the anchor point. Arms are going to be extended. You're going to lean into the suspension trainer, so it's going to be supporting your weight. And then from there, you're basically going to dry, um, drive the knees up, jogging on the spot, landing light with this. And those are going to be your high knees. Next up after those, we have the cross imbalance lunge. Now, obviously, if you did alternate in the legs on the first exercise, then you're going to alternate the legs on this one. Otherwise, you're going to stand on the right leg only and let that left leg sweep behind on this one. So smooth and steady again. Another set of the crossing balance lunges on those. Next up after that, it's your A raise. Now the A raise is going to be mid length. Stand facing the anchor point. Arms are going to be locked long and down and out to the side. You're then going to slowly relax back. The hands will come together naturally. And then you're going to drive those knuckles down and out to bring yourself back up. So knuckles facing backwards for that one. Hip press is up after that. So the TRX hip press is going to be mid-calf length. You're going to be down on the ground, heels in. You're going to draw the knees in. And then from there, you're going to drive the hips skywards, squeezing your bum cheeks at the top. And then you're going to slowly come back on and down. So a nice smooth movement around the hips on those. Next up after those is the bicep curl. So the bicep curl is going to be mid-length. Stand facing the anchor point. Start with the fists up by the temples. You're going to slowly relax on back, letting those arms lengthen naturally. And then from there, you're going to bicep curl back up and in. So smooth and steady on those. Once you're done the bicep curls, you have your mountain climbers. So you're going to come on down to the ground. Good, strong push-up position. And you're going to cycle the legs in and out on this. So bringing those knees up towards the chest. Now, should you have any wrist issues or if this gives you any problems, you can take this out to jogging on the spot instead. Once you've done the jogging on the spot or the mountain climbers, we have your abducted lunge. Now we're going to go mid-calf length, standing sideways to the anchor point. We're going to stand on the left leg and we're going to pop your right foot in. You're then going to side kick out to the right-hand side, descending on down into that side lunge or the abducted lunge, I should say. Take your time with those. Next up after those, well, we've got to hit the opposite side for that single arm chest press. This time we're going to go for the right arm. It's still going to be fully lengthened. We're still going to be standing facing away from that anchor point. Smooth and steady on these. Almost there on all these exercises. Next up after those, we have abducted lunge. So we've got to go for the opposite leg now, so which means we're going to go mid-calf length, standing sideways, stand on your right leg and pop your left foot in this time. You're going to start with your left knee nice and high and then you will side kick out to that left hand side as you descend down into that squat on this one. So again, smooth and steady on this. Next up after those, we have the preacher curls. Now this is going to be mid-calf length. You're going to be on the ground facing away from the anchor point. You're going to start with the arms extended. You're going to bend the elbows. Hips and chest are going to come forward towards the ground. So uh, the elbows are going to drop towards the ground. And then from there, you're going to crush down on the handles to extend the arms. And finishing strong with a corner touch. This is where you're going to shuffle left and right, touching down either into either a real corner, if you're in a room right now, or an imaginary corner where the floor is going to meet an imaginary wall. And then you're going to shuffle to the opposite side. 
Now we're going to have 20 seconds set up to get ready for your first exercise, which is going to be that crossing balance lunge. So here we go. So it's going to be mid, uh, mid length, stand facing the anchor point. Get your elbows underneath your shoulders, chin up off the chest. Now we're gonna, I'm going to talk you through standing on the left leg and the left leg only. So your right leg is going to sweep across with this one. Three seconds, so get yourself ready. And away you go. So first 40 seconds on this. So standing on your left leg, right leg's going to sweep behind. You're going to try and get your right knee behind that left calf. You're keeping your left knee above your left ankle on this one. So we're building in some hip stability here because we're only on one leg. So we're going to be working the thighs, the glutes, core. We want a light grip on the handles. We don't want you to row yourself back up and in on this. All right, last 10 seconds. Again, left leg and left leg only. If you are alternating, that's fine. Just remember to alternate on the second set as well. And relax there. Great stuff. Set yourself up for your single arm chest press. This is going to be mid-length. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. It's going to be fully lengthened. Standing facing away from the anchor point, single hand in mold. Holding in your left hand, your feet can be in line as the demo here. That's the harder variation. Or you can step forward with that right foot, and we're going to go for a single arm chest press. Ready? And away you go. If this is too much on the core or on the torso, then you can um, go to normal chest press if you want to. Now, you might have one side that's better than another. That's fine as well. So just find your appropriate depth. Move forwards. Move the feet forwards to make it easier. Move those feet backwards to make it that little bit harder. Just be wary, though. This isn't an easy one. We're working those chest. Well, we're working that left pectoral muscle right now. We're working the left side of the body, so the lats, the back. Certainly working that core because it's anti-rotation work. Five more seconds on this. Two. One. And relax. All right. Swap that out for your hamstring curls. Preferably with the hips up. Let's go mid-calf length, ground facing the anchor point. Pop your heels in. You're going to draw your knees in and then extend those legs out. Hopefully, you've picked the hips up so you've got a little bit of air underneath your ass. Your arms are out to the side, possibly for a bigger base of support. Ready? And away you go. 40 seconds on these now. So drawing those knees in and out. Keep that breathing nice and relaxed. All right, halfway through, 20 seconds on these. Excellent. Last 15 seconds, arms out to the side are easier. Arms across their chest, they're a little bit harder. Hands up towards the ceiling in a prayer position, a little bit harder still. Messing around with that base of support. Four more seconds on these hamstring curls. And relax. We're going to get ready for those eye rows. The eye rows are going to be at mid-length. We're going to be standing facing the anchor point, arms up over ears. You can do this in like it's like you're in an alleyway or a very thin room. Okay, from there, you'll slowly relax back. The hands will come down. And the only way back up is by pulling those knuckles backwards. Ready? And away you go. So smooth and steady on this one. Start with the arms up over ears. Keep that plank position locked in. Don't let this move now. No breaking through the hips or anything along those lines. All right, 20 seconds, halfway. Thirteen seconds left. Last three, team. And relax, outstanding. All right, from where you are now. we got the high knees, so we're going to go fully length and standing facing away from the anchor point. Okay, nice, fast high knees on these. So you want to be leaning into that suspension train. It's almost like a, a trolley dash with this. Get ready. And away you go. So you're leaning into it. You're bringing those knees up, powering through those legs. Twenty seconds, that's all you got. Twenty seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep that pace up now. Keep that plank position in between your ears, shoulder, and your hip as you drive those knees in and out. Ten more seconds. Last five. 
three, two, one, and relax there. Outstanding. Right, you're back to the crossing balance lunge. Let's go. We're going to go mid length. Stand facing that anchor point. Let's go. Elbows under shoulders. Chin up off the chest. We're going to stand on that right leg, and we've got 10 seconds. This time it's the left knee that's going to sweep behind. Get yourself ready. Four seconds, team, at three, two, one. And away you go. Crossing balance lunge. Standing on that right leg only. Smooth and steady, chin up off the chest, maybe keep your eyes on the anchor, keep that torso nice and tall. Ten seconds. Last seven. Drive through the floor to come back up. And relax there. A raises. Here we go. So mid length. Stand facing that anchor point. Get your arms out to the side with the knuckles facing backwards. You are slowly going to relax back. Your hands will come together naturally. And then you will drive those knuckles down and out to come back up. Three more seconds. Two. One. And away you go. So smooth and steady on the A raise. Knuckles facing backwards on this. Don't confuse it with the swimmer's pull, which is the palms facing backwards. This is the knuckles facing backwards. Keep those arms locked straight on this. Keep that torso locked straight as well. Remember, it's just a moving plank from ear to ankle. Head to heel, strong as steel. Forehead to feet, like concrete. you got nine seconds left on this team. All right, let's get ready for that hip press. So with a hip press, we're going to go mid-calf length, heels in. We're going to draw the knees in. Thighs are going to be nice and vertical. From there, you're going to drive your hips up, squeeze at the top, and then come back on down. Same drill as base of support. Arms out to the side easier. Cross the chest harder. Off you go. And hands up into the air like you just don't care. A little bit harder still. Take your time with this one. You don't have to drive the hips up too much with this. Great stuff. You've only got 15 seconds left on this one. Last eight. If this gets too much, you can extend the legs out. Just lengthen those legs out. Give those hamstrings a break if they're cramping up. Until now, now you definitely get a break. It's the bicep curl. Let's go mid-length with this one. Stand facing the anchor point. Bring the fists up by the temples to start so just up by those eyebrows just by the temples not round the back of your head and not down by your chest keep the elbows high now let's go we're going to slowly relax back the arms are going to lengthen and then we're going to bicep curl back up and in outstanding there you go 10 seconds gone already keep these elbows nice and high full range of movement on those arms no half measures now There you go, halfway through, rep these out, lighten up those biceps. Again, the plank position's locked in, we're digging the heels in, move backwards to make it easier, forwards to make it harder. Keep your eyes on the anchor, chin up off the chest, you're almost there. And relax, well done. All right, here we go. We got your mountain climbers. So take yourself over, good strong push-up position. We're going to cycle these legs through. Now, if this gets too much, remember I said about the wrist issues or being in that push-up position for this, uh, this time, then feel free to jog on the spot instead. Get yourself ready. 40 seconds. Let's go. So power those legs in and out. Keep the breathing relaxed. That's the one. Fire the legs back. Push the heels away from the head. Twenty seconds. All right, last 15. This is awesome. 10 more seconds. You got this. Last five. 
And relax there, superb. All right, we are into your uh, abducted lunge here. Let's go mid-calf length. We're going to be standing sideways to the anchor point. We're standing on that left leg, remember? So standing on the left leg. Right foot's going in. You're going to side kick out to the right-hand side. You need to keep even pressure in that suspension trainer. And away you go. And on your supporting left foot. So nice, even pressure through both feet. Don't just try and balance on that left leg. Use that suspension trainer to support you as well. Imagine there's a pane of glass in front of you and a pane of glass behind you. You're going to slide through those panes of glass. All right, you've got 12 more seconds on this. We'll be going into that single arm chest press after that. Again, working the thighs, working the glutes, working the core on this one. And relax there. Superb. All right, we've got to go off the right arm for the single arm chest press. So let's go fully lengthened, single-handed mode. Hold it in your right hand. I'm going to bend the elbows. Hips and chest are going to come forward as one. I'm going to drive off that right hand only. We've got four seconds. If you need to, you can now step forward with that left foot to offset that foot position if you need to. All right, and away you go. You're off and you're gone. Again, strong plank position. If you need to as well, you can now bring your left arm out and ghost that right hand. In other words, put that left hand on an imaginary handle. You're going to bend the elbows. Hips and chest are going to come forward as one like you're doing a normal chest press. If you need to do a normal chest press because this is too much on this right arm, that's fine. It's not a problem. You've got 12 seconds. You're almost there on this. Don't hold the breath and keep that chin up off the chest. No looking down to the ground. Come on, eyes up. All right, relax. We're back into those abducted lunge, but we're going to stand on the right leg now. So let's go. Mid-calf length, standing sideways to the anchor point. Standing on that right leg, pop your left foot in. You're going to side kick out to that left hand side. Now you've got two more seconds. And away you go. So smooth and steady. Standing on the right foot. Side kicking out to the left hand side now. Now don't worry if you're better off one side than another. That's perfectly natural. There you go. You're already halfway through on this one. Take your time. All right, last 10 seconds. Five seconds on this. And relax, well done. Grace of, oh, preacher curls. Forgotten about these bad boys. They're going to be mid-calf length. You're going to be kneeling, facing away from the anchor point. Your hands are going to be on the handles. Your arms are going to be fully extended. You are going to bend at the elbows. Hips and chest are going to come forward as one. Fists are going to come to the temples. And then you're going to crush the handles down. Ready? And away you go. Let's go. Rock them out. Crush down. Squeeze the arms. Come on down. Crush down. Squeeze the arms. Come on down. Smooth and steady on these. 25 seconds. All right. 20 seconds. Keep these going. Last 15. All right, you got 10 more seconds. This is awesome. Last six. Push down on the handles. Give the backs of the arms a squeeze. And relax. Have a breather and set yourself up for these corner touch. So you're going to shimmy left and right, or shuffle left and right, scoot left and right, whatever you want to call it. Now, don't let the feet cross, and don't stand on your own feet. You don't want to, yeah, tripping yourself up now. Get yourself ready. You've got three seconds before you go. Go. Let's go. 40 seconds. Left and right now for me. Touching on down. Scoot. Touch. Scoot. Touch. Here we go. Excellent. Keep the breathing nice and relaxed as you move. Every time you touch that imaginary corner, firing off to the opposite side. Here we go. Keep the legs firing. Keep them pumping. Stay low. Move fast. 10 seconds. Come on, guys. You're almost there. Nail these and you'll be halfway through. Last couple of seconds. 
and relax well done have a 20 seconds breather guys let's get you set up for these crossing balance lunges should we mix it up and go alternating why not we're that wild we got 10 seconds to set yourself up it's going to be mid length stand facing the anchor point elbows under shoulders to start heads up chest up so we're going to alternate legs on round two ready and away you go so standing on one leg opposite leg sweeps behind knee goes behind calf Arms naturally lengthen to keep the torso nice and tall. You drive through that working lead leg to come up, and then you swap legs. Coming on down, smooth and steady. Take your time. Excellent. and relax there great 40 seconds on that we're back to that single arm chest press left arm only so we're going to go fully lengthened single handed mode stand facing away from the anchor point we are now holding it in that left hand with our left arm extended you can step forward with the right foot if you need to to offset it you can ghost your right hand out there ready and away you go take your time with these no need to rush Bend the elbow, make sure that chest comes right down in between the handles. Full range of movement on this. 17 seconds. Keep going. All right, 10 seconds. You've got this dialed in. This is looking awesome. Nice and long and strong. Keep that body lengthened out. And relax. It's the hamstring curls next. So we're going to go mid calf length, heels in. So we're ground facing the anchor point, hips up if possible. Remember, you can move towards the anchor point to make it a little bit easier. Move further away to make it a little bit harder. Almost there. And away you go. So good solid 40 seconds on this. yeah this is looking so far so good so keep those hips up off the ground keep the tension on you need to make it as hard as possible here guys come on round two this no let up only 10 seconds left don't be putting those hips down on the ground for the last 10 seconds go on keep them up keep the legs moving drive the heels away and uh, relax have a well earned 20 seconds breathing get yourself ready for those eye rows that's going to be mid length stand facing that anchor point arms up over the ears arms in the air like you just don't care we're going to rotate around those shoulders relaxing on back and then we're going to drive those knuckles back three seconds team stand by and away you go nail these eye rows crew Keep the elbows locked. So we want those arms straight. Keep them by the head. Don't let them slowly start to creep out into a Y or a T. Like I say, you're in an alleyway here. This is a very thin room or corridor. You can't let the hands come out. Very thin. Rotate around those shoulders. Small movement. And relax. All right, now you can chill. Back ready for these high knees. Fully lengthened, stand facing away from that anchor point. Arms extended, lean into that suspension trainer. Get ready for those nice, fast, high knees. All right, we've got six seconds on this. Get yourself ready now. Going to be real fast, solid 40 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Now keep that angle of attack locked in. Don't be coming more and more upright. It's going to make it easier. It's going to take the pressure off the suspension trainer. Keep that angle locked in. Fifteen seconds left, so come on. Well over halfway. No let up. In fact, if anything, for these last ten seconds, you're gonna pick the pace up and go even faster. Little sprint finish now. And relax. 
right we're back to those crossing balance lunges and they've got to be alternating remember so we're going to go mid length stand facing that anchor point less than 10 minutes to go team so mid length stand facing elbows under shoulders we are going to alternate the legs on these crossing balance lunges ready and away you go now with all of these remember your foot that goes behind that's going to stay in mid air unless you lose your balance in which case feel free to tap the foot down it's not a problem all right getting close to that halfway mark and these crossing balance lunges all right there you go halfway take your time really nail the form and the technique let the arms lengthen, keep the torso tall, no hunching over. If I'm stood in front of you and you've got a t-shirt with a big logo on, I should be able to see that logo. And relax. A raises, here we go. A raises for the A team that are on this session. So mid length, stand facing the anchor point. Arms are locked long, knuckles facing backwards. We're going to slowly relax back. Those hands are going to come together naturally. And then we're going to rip those handles open to come on up. Ready? And away you go. Now, as you relax back, you're going to control that descent. The hands are going to come together naturally. And then you're going to rip those knuckles down and out to come back up and in. All right. Halfway through on these A raises. Keeping those arms nice and locked. If you need to put one foot in front of the other in what we call the offset foot position, this can help you out with any sticking points. Should you get stuck at some point on the way up, you can drive off the back foot to help you out. You have four more seconds on this. And relax. There's the A raises boxed off. We're back into the hip press. These are going to be mid-calf length heels in. All right, we're going to drive our hips up towards the ceiling, squeeze at the top, and then come back on down. All right, get yourself ready on the hip press. And away you go, smooth and steady. So mid-calf length, ground facing the anchor point, heels in. Draw the knees in so your thighs start vertical. Drive your hips up, little squeeze of the butt cheeks at the top. Come back on down. If this gets too much, remember I said on round one, you can let the legs extend. Do this with the legs straight. So it's a small lift up off the ground of the hips. And then you come back on down. But having those legs straight, Takes a little bit of pressure off those hamstrings if you're having any problems through there. Don't be afraid to rest if you need to, if it starts to cramp up or gives you any grief. You're almost there on this one anyway. And relax. Bicep curls. We're going to go mid-length, stand facing that anchor point. Let's find a nice juicy depth for this. Let's make these muscles work. So start with the fist up by the temples. Lock that plank position in now. Dig the heels in. All right, and away we go. Slowly relax back. Let those arms lengthen and bicep curl up and in. Fists up by those temples, each and every rep. Full extension on the arms on the way down. No half measures, no half reps. All right, well over halfway. All right, 10 seconds on this one. Keep this breathing written nice and relaxed. You're almost there. And relax, outstanding. All right, set yourself up. Here we go, back into these mountain climbers. So good, strong push-up position. We're going to cycle the legs in and out on this one. Get yourself ready. All right, get ready to light those legs up, and away you go. Here we go, mountain climbers, guys. Let's box these off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Strong plank position between your ear, your shoulder, and your hip as you fire these legs through. Eighteen seconds now. All right, last 10 on this. Come on, little sprint finish. Keep the breathing relaxed. Don't hold the breath. Come on, you're almost there. Couple more reps for me. 
and relax outstanding here we go last five exercises on this session it is the abducted lunge let's go mid calf length standing sideways to the anchor point standing on that left leg and right foot in so standing on the left right foot in set yourself up we're going to side kick out get ready and away you go so smooth and steady on this So standing on that left side, kicking out to the right hand side. Take your time. Only goes to the depth you can get back up from. Don't want you going down there and getting stuck down there or just kind of collapsing out the TRX. and relax there well done set yourself up single arm chest press right arm only so holding it in the right so fully lengthen stand facing away hold it in the right left arm out ghosting it if you need to step forward with your left foot if you need to offset the foot position ready and away you go so nice and smooth and steady on this great stuff Well over halfway, make sure the body is staying in that plank position. Are your thighs squeezed? Is your butt squeezed? Are your shoulders down and back? Might be working that right hand side, but keep the whole body locked in. Almost there. And relax. All right, final abducted lunges on this session. So let's go back to that mid calf length. We're going to be standing sideways to the anchor point. Standing on the right leg and the left foot is going in. And we're going to side kick out to that side. Get yourself ready. You've got four more seconds. And away you go. Take your time. Smooth and steady. So side kicking out to that left. When you stand, get one, get ramrod straight, and two, really bring that left knee nice and high. Keep even pressure through these handles. You're well over halfway now. Last couple of seconds, keep even pressure through. Keep the form and technique sharp. And relax. Two exercises left, and one of them is the preacher curl. So let's go. Leave it at mid-calf. In fact, leave it at mid-calf. You're going to be kneeling down on the ground, facing away from that anchor point. Arms are extended. You're going to drop the elbows falling down, slot your head in between, and then crush down through the handles. Get yourself ready, and away you go. If you do need to make this easier, it is a hard exercise. Move further forwards. The more upright your torso is, the easier this is going to be. This is looking solid so far. 20 seconds, you're halfway through. We only have one more cardio drill after this to rock out. Lock those arms out. Give those arms a cheeky squeeze. Hitting those triceps. And you're done. Right. Last one. Exercise 30 of 30. And it is our corner touch. So setting yourself up. You've got 10 seconds before you go. Going to shuffle left and right. Stay low. Move fast. Three seconds ready. Last 40 seconds on this. And away you go. So shuffling left and right. Touching down. If you need to swap this out for something like star jump, say if you're lost for space or you're just tired, then that's fine. But otherwise, let's go. See if you can get a faster pace and more touches to more corners on this round two. All right. We're getting close to the end, guys, with 15 seconds left. I want to say thank you so much for jumping into this circuit training session. It's been brilliant to have us with us and working out. Keep it going right to the end, though. Last three, 
two, you're almost there. Done.